I'm Alexis Schwerha with Campus Reform, and we're down here in real time as the Supreme Court just overturned Roe versus Wade. How are you feeling right now? A mix of relief and joy and a lot of adrenaline. I'm just overjoyed. Overjoyed, I'm elated, I'm like a little emotional, but like I didn't know quite how to feel because I'm like really excited and like it's just like every emotion all at once. I'm like <laughs> tripping over my words a little bit, I'm so excited. My makeup's all cried off. It's amazing. It's amazing. I am so, so happy. I'm, I've been praying for this moment for so long. as an atheist, as a feminist, I'm so excited that we have a path forward to show that abortion is not progressive. In fact, it's regressive. I have worked on this issue for 10 years. There are people here who have worked on this issue for 50 years. It is an incredible experience to be here with them. It is almost surreal that this has happened, but we know it is a first step towards justice for these babies and towards building a better world. I've never known what it's like to live in a country without Roe, and so it was an emotional moment to stand there and stand at that podium and say that changes for me today and for all the young women behind me. Today, for the women who paved the path for us, we're taking up that mantle. We're so excited to take this to the states and really get to work. I'm a student at the University of Notre Dame. I'm ready to help pregnant women, and we have everything prepared to help everyone who needs their help. Abortion safe and legal. Abortion safe and legal. We will abolish abortion. We are the post-Roe generation. What does this mean now that the Supreme Court has overturned Roe versus Wade? So a lot of people think that overturning Roe v. Wade is the end goal of the pro-life movement, but this is just the beginning. It makes it so that we can go back to our home states and we can advocate for um, pro-life legislation within our communities. Abortion is no longer a constitutional right. It never was, um, but now it is officially not recognized by the court as a constitutional right. And there's going to be a major debate in the states. But the reality is that the right to life and the right to equal rights under the law is enshrined in the 14th Amendment. And so the next step is insisting that our nation recognize that reality and that we begin to treat abortion for what it is, murder. With the overturning of Roe, this issue of abortion, what, you know, who is this child in the womb? goes back to the states and each state gets to decide. What this means is that their voice will be heard. You know, for us, we are going to be working to make sure that every life, it, you know, is welcomed into this world and gets to live a full life. We are all going to be sending all of the legislation for abortion back to the states. So as for what that goes for me and everyone who's here with Students for Life is we're prepared to help all students and people in our community on campus who find themselves in pregnancies that they're unprepared for and in a lot of the states we're not they're they're not going to have access to abortion but that doesn't mean that they're not going to be able to live the dreams that they want to live and and be the amazing mothers and parents or even give the gift of adoption to someone so pro-life movement do from here? I mean, we already have a strong system set up, a community of people. I mean, optionline.org, standingwithyou.org, letthemlive.org. There's so many people who are ready and willing to help and have already started raising millions of dollars for pregnant people and mothers in need. And we're just so excited that this is going to be something that gets more time and more more media attention that we're actually supporting these people. Today is day one. We are at ground zero of what does it look like post row. We haven't been able to have real conversations that result in real action because we've had this heavy hand of row over us. And so now, I, you know, for Concerned Women for America, what we will be doing is working, and we already have been working, on state legislation to make sure that lives are saved in their each respective state. We need to mobilize ground activists to work in blue cities, abortion strongholds across the country. We need more left-leaning leadership. We need more secular leadership that can speak to the communities who, at this moment, are 
are still advocating for the deaths of these babies. We are going to change America and we are going to do it city by city, activist by activist, and we are going to get every single person who believes in the right to life out of their chair into the streets to make a real difference for these babies and for the parents who are exploited by the abortion industrial complex. People think that all we want is, is I've been called pro-birth a million times, and of course I'm pro-birth because I believe in the, the dignity of all human life, but I'm also pro-family, pro-woman, pro-child, pro-marriage, all of those things. We need to make sure that women know that we are ready to help them. We need to elect people who are actually pro-life, who are going to be willing to make the controversial legislation sometimes that will protect millions of unborn lives. And then we also need to work to support women who are going through these really difficult situations financially, medically. We just need to help them so that there isn't even a need for abortion anymore. We are the post-trial generation and we will abolish abortion.